I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Racha, HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to the hopefully elect, laboring and truth and the sincerity. Okay, and um, kind of going on an impromptu. Um, on a video dealing with uh, these uh, Christian churches uh, you only got a handful of Christians that will go into prophecy okay you know and you would have to go into some private TV channel to, <laughs> to even find that but the majority of these Christians that you see on the, on the uh, inner city street corners uh, they have a problem with the truth okay and what I mean by that is if being a Hebrew Israelite better someone and makes them uh, a better person where they would stop eating pork and crabs and shrimp because we're the only ones go more into the law of the scriptures than anybody else okay which we know it's about the faith but uh, the law is still not done away with so if that means better health, getting away from the, the crabs, the pork, and the shrimp, that also means instead of being uh, a drug dealer or a drug user, okay, because we can clearly see that this Christ, the Christian image of Jesus Christ, have no merit on the uh, substance of society. It's People are not fearing this image. They only fear it in wickedness. Okay, but in, in, in it all, when you look at it in a whole, they really don't fear that image at all. Because if you feared Yahweh Shah, okay, Yahweh Yahweh Shah, then you would know not to cre do, do any of this madness that you're doing in the communities. And we can clearly see that it's because of Christianity that our people are fully destroyed, man. You would think that. All these years of these churches posted up on every corner, no different than a drug deal on the corner, no different than a bar on the corner, okay? No different than any poison standing on the corner, that you would think that all these years that something would change. So we can clearly see that the church and the state go hand in hand, okay? When you look in the church, you have the preacher, you have the, the deacons and the, the choirs, you got the pews, Okay, and also when you go to court, you'll have the judge, you'll have the, the prosecuting attorney, you'll have the 12 jurors, you'll have the pews. Same deal, man. Same deal. Said so one has a state seal behind his head, and the other one has a cross behind his head. So we can clearly see this is all orchestrated and set up to destroy you, you, you Hebrew Israelites. Okay. Uh, Negroes, Latinos, uh, Native Americans. Okay. Uh, let's get a scripture. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Okay. And a part of that is really because a lot of pastors really don't know the truth. Uh, let's be honest. They don't know. They know that this is a hustling gig to make money. Uh, so when you start talking about only Hebrew Israelites are going to make it imagine how much congregation you're going to lose see these Edomites okay uh, um, EJ Love uh, 
um, Jesus ain't the word. Um, these guys are losing so-called blacks and Native Americans to their congregation because of the truth. Uh, these are nothing but pips and hustlers, man. When you start losing that money, uh, then it starts becoming a problem, man. You start having some serious issues when that money start being tampered with. Uh, and as the elder brother Yashawama said, EJ Love may have a little bit more sincerity in what he believes, okay? But that's still not going to cut it because the elect is going to see right through it and doesn't make you right. Even just because you believe something, it doesn't make doesn't mean that you're correct. Verse 2, therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh of Israel, okay, against the pastors that feed my people. See, this right here says against the pastors that feed my people, okay? So we already know uh, there's no all of a sudden Jesus Christ came and then he said, you know what? I'm coming for all people. As if God decided to change his mind and make up things as he went along. Look, man, this book has already been written. The uh, the history was written. The, the, the present is written. The future is written. You just can't get around it, man. This book is only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, not even for Israel right now, but for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, like this guy did a video, Anton Dotson. I wanted to remake a little bit of that uh, because he's going to be destroyed. Okay? As, and all I was saying is that there's repentance if, if he repented but that's not likely going to happen at the end of it all he's, he's, if he's an Israelite like Romans 11 I believe said all Israel shall be delivered so really all of Israel going to be saved at the end of it but the elect is going to get on first on board and going to be set up to rule the kingdom You heathens and Edomites you're, you're going to come to the kingdom, but as servants and slaves. Okay? That's it. Because this guy will talk, he'll, you'll see that uh, the scripture says Gentile, and the letters of Paul is really conflicting and confusing to these guys, but they don't understand the letters of Paul. So when Paul come on the scene, and then the translators translate it all screwed up, then all of a sudden everybody can make it because it says Jew or Greek. A Gentile. Don't you know if it just said Israelite, Jews, and uh, House of Israel, Jews and Israelites, and it didn't say anybody? They couldn't use this book as uh, world dominance, okay, to control the people. And that's what you have in these churches. Goes on to say, Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. These guys scatter you before you even uh, open the Bible, man. So meanwhile, Cops are shooting niggas, locking niggas up on Black Tuesday and Black Friday, okay? This is even before the Black Friday Christmas shit. They have a Black Friday or Black Tuesday when they locking uh, so-called Jake up, man. I mean, uh, so-called Negroes up, okay? And you Hispanics and other tribes. So when they locking you up, and I, I, I've even was in that situation, and you would hear everybody complain. The white man is the devil. This system is designed to destroy us. This is all they'll say. But if they understood the book, Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, then they would know who their enemies are. The problem with our people is they don't know who their enemies are because the Christian teachers and pastors are not teaching them who their enemies are. So really, they're lumped in a so, sort of a box and they don't know the way out. So one minute they say the, the man is the devil, the system is the devil, is made to destroy our people, our people. But then when you see uh, us go out on the highways and hedges and say that they must be destroyed, then you niggas will be the first to say God loves everybody. Why? Because that seed was implanted when your mother sent your black ass to church at five years old and told you that God came for every, God came for everybody. Jesus has died for everybody. John 3.16, God so loved the world. Okay? Uh, and that's what happened. Our people uh, from the cradle to the grave are destroyed, man. Goes on to say, And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them. So again, this is not talking about everybody. You Christian churches 
you're going to have a lot to answer for when there's no answers, okay? And you don't have it now. Goes on to say, it will bring them again to their folds. And that's what you have to see happening now. If you was a so-called Christ, true Christian and the Lord was dealing with you, you'd be out trying to bring the uh, elect to their folds. And they shall be fruitful and increase. And that's what you, this is exactly what you see it happen. And I will set the shepherds over them which shall feed them, which we say the uh, the true shepherds and the apostles of Great Millstone, okay, top men of the Lord, set up to feed the elect. And they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. This is prophecy happening right in front of you, as of right now, man. Uh, you know, this Bible only speaks uh, to the Israel, I mean, children of Israel. Let me jump on down to six. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and the children and, the, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord of Righteousness. Okay, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, uh, this is Second Peter. Let's go to Micah. We go to Micah 3 and 11. Micah or Micah. Um, uh, the heads thereof judge for reward. Okay. And the priests therefore teach for hire. And the prophets therefore divine, divine month for money. Divine or divine for money. Uh, yet will they lean upon the Lord and will say, Not the Lord amongst us. None evil can come upon us. And that's what these guys, uh, that's what these guys are doing, man. Okay. They're not leaning toward the Lord. Okay. Now we look at the word divine, uh, divinaires, or what you want to call it. That means um, going into the false prophets, basically. Uh, they ain't doing, they ain't nothing but working for Esau, man. These guys are working for Esau. Okay. Uh, they teach for hire. All that. That's why they come. There's no different, but uh, no difference between a preacher and a crack and a uh, crack dealer, man, or a heroin dealer. They said one physically destroys the body, and this one, uh, a preacher spiritually des destroys the spirit, man. It's the same thing, okay. And you got a lot to answer for, okay, Esau, mainly because you were part of setting all this up. You got a lot to answer for. All right, last scripture, Second Peter two and one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers amongst you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them. Now, what is denying the Lord? By scrambling the words and saying that the Gentiles are nothing but he uh, heathens. Okay, and that's not true. Uh, there's many words that could have been used for Gentiles, translated from the Greek. But again, for universal dominance, as the video I was just watching, uh, for universal dominance, this is what they done. And you even have Edomites who are admitting that the Gentiles were heathens. Gentiles were Israelites. The majority of the times in the Bible, Gentiles and strangers were Israelites. Okay, uh, it goes on to say, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. So anyway, the bottom line is of this video is the uh, Christian church has done nothing. They've done nothing but destroyed the people. They haven't done nothing for the people. Uh, they act like they're for the people and, and the family and the churches. But look at the communities. Look at the neighborhoods. Okay? Now, these pictures that are, I'm showing driving through the neighborhoods, this, these, this video is right here in Baltimore of how screwed up it is, man. And it's worse than that. Okay, it's worse than this, believe it or not. Uh, when I get a chance, I'll we'll, we'll do some filming. Uh, this, this place is turning into like Detroit, man. Okay, so where's the uh, the sweet Jesus, man? Where's Christ coming to say? Where's Where's Jesus, man? All the hell that's being uh, committed, uh, the abominations that's happening in our communities, and yet you niggas will keep following Christ. Okay, so this fake Jesus, uh, that's comparable to getting your back whipped and continue to ask to get your back whipped some more and saying that there's an answer around the corner, but you keep getting, that's like saying, you know, keep whipping my back.
keep beating on me. Keep beating on me. I know it ain't going to get any better, but all I have is hope and prayer. And that's and that mainly the black woman. The first thing she'll say is, leave it to Jesus. Leave it to God. Okay? Well, you see what's happening. Okay? If you was in the spirit of leaving it to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you would pray. Number one, pray fast. And you would say, hey, something's not right here. I, I'm leaving it in the hand of the Lord. I need to get out of this place. I don't need to find a way to try to make it in this place, as Ecclesiastes 7 and 2 say. Better to go in the house of mourning than the house of feasting. I need to find a way to get the hell up out of this place, because I don't want to be here. Okay? So anybody who loves this place and want to be in America, well, you're going to get the uh, nightmare that America has to offer. Okay, that's all I have on that. I want to say shalom all.